All right, so let's see how long it takes for this computer to start up and reach the Windows desktop and become functional. So here we go, stopwatch has started. And uh, now we wait. So this is booting off a Western, I think it's a Hitachi hard drive, not a Western digital. So this one's booting off a 7200 Hitachi uh, one terabyte hard drive, which came pre-installed with the computer. And uh, this is a HP Phoenix desktop. Uh, it's got a core i7 CPU and 16 gigs of RAM. But uh, with that kind of configuration, uh, you might think this thing is extremely fast, but as you can see, uh, the camera is not able to focus but as you can see this thing is quite slow and um, still starting up uh, it's been about one it's going to be about one minute and I think it takes around two minutes for this computer to start up and you can see the response time is kind of slow we're on the desktop but it's not really responding uh, to uh, what I'm doing. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can supercharge your computer and make it super fast uh, by using one of these. This is a solid state hard drive and this one is a Kingston. Now I'm not endorsing the Kingston brand so you can go ahead and buy any um, reputed brand uh, solid state drive like Samsung and uh, I think Corsair is also now manufacturing and Western Digital is also in the game. Uh, so I bought the Kingston hard drive already have it opened and you can see this thing is still booting up and still uh, the start menu has just opened up and I'm going to launch PowerPoint you can see how slow this thing is and you'll see the difference once I install this thing and by the way check this out I uh, stuck the old graphics card on my wall it looks kinda nice Anyways, you can see the hard drive LED is on and no the hard drive does not have any bad sectors I uh, checked it thoroughly Everything is fine, but it is just slow. You can see PowerPoint is still not yet uh, It's not responding or something So it's been about two minutes and uh, I think many of you would have had this experience where you uh, where you have a processor which is capable enough but yeah the computer just runs slow and we're still waiting for PowerPoint to launch and there we go so what I'm going to do here is uh, use Macrium reflect and clone the C drive of this computer onto this and then we'll see how quickly this thing starts up and we're still waiting so it takes around three minutes to start up and it is still uh, booting up as you can see the hard drive LED is still on. So let's try launching Photoshop. And as you can see this thing is still struggling to start up. You can probably hear the hard drive uh, clicking in there so so I think it took around 3 minutes 30 seconds I have been launching programs but now let's go ahead plug this one in clone the C drive and we'll take it from there tell you what this thing has five hard drives at the moment plus a optical drive so all these six SATA ports are being used up so here we have our two terabyte western digital green and there's another green hard drive back there so that one's one terabyte and the boot drive is way back there so that's a one terabyte 7200 rpm hitachi so this cage holds a total of three hard drives and uh, this is the uh, laptop hard drive this is a 500 gigabyte one and there's another uh, one terabyte Samsung laptop hard drive inside there and here's our uh, here's our blue red drive so what I'm going to do is disconnect this thing because I have never used the blue red drive on this thing uh, everything I do is through the USB and network transfer so don't don't think I'll be needing this so I've already gone ahead and uh, removed the cables so this is the power cable this is the SATA cable and you can see how bad the cable management is on these cases yeah, so this is an HP PC 
and fortunately this motherboard has six SATA ports otherwise these HP PCs comes with maximum of two SATA ports alright so I've removed the front cover and I've removed the optical drive it's very easy you just pull this thing uh, remove the cables and just pull the drive out here it is so what I've done is I've put some double sided tape on the SSD I could have put the SSD right over here but I don't really wanna cover this hard drive up it's already lying on pieces of tissue paper and I don't want, I don't want this thing to overheat so what I've done is stuck some double sided tape and I'm going to match the uh, SATA and the power connector and stick it right over here underneath the uh, optical, optical drive that way I don't really have to pull the cables too much and should go right in alright that clicked into position and uh, our solid state hard drive is right there I'm gonna connect the cables. Okay, so I finished the cloning process and it was a little bit complicated. So what I've done is I've cloned the uh, boot drive of this computer onto the SSD and you must make sure that the boot drive use space is less than the uh, space on your SSD. So I had to make sure that the uh, use space on the uh, boot drive, one terabyte boot drive is less than 240 gig. So if you're using a 128 gig SSD, make sure that the use space is less than 128 gig. Anyways, then what I did is I disconnected after cloning, I disconnected the uh, SSD, I used Windows installation files that I downloaded from Microsoft's website and uh, I formatted the uh, old boot drive. Then I have reconnected the SSD and now we are going to boot. So I should remove this and let's see how long it takes for the computer to boot up onto the desktop. Alright, so here we go, and if you remember, it took around 3 minutes 38 seconds. So, um, we are waiting at the splash screen. Let's wait. So, Windows is now booting up. And there you go, and I think I should stop it now because it took around two, it took only around 20 seconds for this thing to start up and immediately it, the computer will be functional. You can go ahead and launch as many programs as you like and it will work no problem. So you can go ahead and launch any number of programs and the computer will work. Previously you saw how sluggish this thing was, so right now it is working fine. And this is how you can make a difference to an old PC and this is an old PC. I bought this in 2012. Even though it's got a third generation Core i7, it's quite good even now. So there you go guys. Thanks for watching this video and do add an SSD to your computer. Trust me, it will give your computer a brand new life. You can see we are now on the desktop. Everything is working fine. Just waiting for this thing to sign in. Other than that, it is working great. Alright guys, so thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys next time.